Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first video of 2021. Halla we made it. I'm gonna kickstart the year with a book video. I love reading. I feel like reading is something that a lot of people put on their New Year's resolutions list and it's something that I personally do in my life. I've been reading for so long and it just makes me feel better, especially when I read like self-help non-fiction books and I learn something. I just love starting the year feeling motivated, inspired, and I picked five of my favorite like self-help non-fiction books that can help kickstart your year in just a really nice productive way. I have a little bit of something for everyone depending on what your goals are and whether or not you want to improve or not these books are amazing so highly recommend them but I will pop them in the description box if you guys want to shop around. If you guys want to follow along my reading journey with me and join my little book club that I've been doing for two years now on this channel you can follow me on Goodreads it's just at Renee Amber. I'll be doing a New Year's reading list on Wednesday so look out for that and then we can read together and reflect on books and stuff and it'll just be really fun. So without further ado I'm going to go ahead and jump on into it. The first book that I recommend is The Happiness Equation. This book is amazing. It's one of my all-time favorite books ever. I really just like things that are simplistic that I can like read, get my information, and then get on to my day. I don't want to waste a lot of time on the books that I'm reading. I don't need it to be complicated. I just want it to make me feel better. This book is amazing if you are looking for a book to make you feel good about yourself and to just be grateful and be happy at the start of the year. He does a really great job at incorporating a lot of different things. Sometimes he'll like put in like little stories, sometimes he'll do CEO kind of stuff. It's just basically his study of like what brings people happy lives. Each chapter is kind of designated towards one thing, whether that's a poem, whether that's a story, whether that's like a philosophy or something and he mixes in so many different things the way he breaks it down to is really amazing for me if you're like very organized like me so he has nine secrets and then there's like two to three page chapters in each one kind of explaining why and how it all works if you were to take this habit or live this way for example the first secret is the first thing you must do before you can be happy and the first chapter within that secret is six words that will forever change how you see happiness and then the next one is the single biggest reason it's hard to be happy it's amazing if you like simplicity if you're looking for like a quick book highly highly recommend this book it's a perfect book for the beginning of the year the second book that's on my list is Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth this is one of the most amazing books I've ever read I read this I think three or four years ago and it just totally changed my life and the way that I think about thoughts and mindsets if you're into like spirituality highly recommend this book it's great because it's a really good introduction to spirituality it is a little bit more complicated it's one of those books where you read and you have to like sit there and think about it for a second and you're like oh my gosh like you just have to take your time with this one it's not like the happiness equation where you can just like skim through it and take little pointers this one's really more in depth but it's also really powerful like every word that i read in this book i remember just being like blown away. If you're into like manifesting and all this other stuff and the law of attraction, it's kind of similar to this but without any BS. Like it's not think big or dream big and have like money and an amazing monetary life. Like it's not like that at all. It's more like in depth in your soul, which is why I really resonated with it. And the way that he explains our thought process is amazing. So basically what he says is like, there's a voice that hears the thoughts behind your head and like who are you at your core your core is basically the thought behind the thought and it's just like it's really good i highly recommend it if you're into like spiritual side number three if you're new into the uh self-help book realm read you are a badass this is one of the first ever like non-fiction books that i've ever read again it's very simplistic it's very straight to the point nothing too crazy or intense and it just makes you feel like a freaking badass it makes you want to like do stuff and like feel confident and like just get so much shit done it is one of the most amazing self-help books just because how straightforward it is i just really love this it was a no bs really great introduction to any like self-help books so if you're new try this one out if you have a lot of pain in your heart and you are trying to overcome your struggles but you have like a lot of baggage can't hurt me by david goggins this book is amazing i read this book last year at the beginning of the year and i have never run as much as i've ever run 
like after reading this book. I was up at like four in the morning, sometimes three in the morning, running like four miles in the freezing cold weather. It's because of this book. This book makes you do stuff. It makes you literally think that your problems are like irrelevant. Like for some reason, I just like was like, I don't have time to even think about my problems. Stop with the BS, I'm just gonna do it. This will make you do stuff. He has an amazing, amazing story. This guy is a superhuman. He's like a Navy SEAL. Like there's all this stuff that he's done. He's the only man in history to complete elite training as a Navy SEAL, Army Ranger, Air Force Tactical Air Controller. He set numerous records in like fitness stuff, like endurance events. He's the fittest real man in America, which is insane. Like comparing him to like what a robot or something he's crazy he has a way of just kind of pushing out that like inner voice that you have in your head to just do things like stop with the bullshit basically and he's very straightforward and he's not one of those like gurus that will just talk about motivation and like hype you up in like a very fake way this guy's like here's my story this is what i did and whatever like it's not like you need to buy into my events where you need to like watch his speeches or anything like that he's just like very straightforward not trying to sell anything he's had a really really rough life story and he talks a little bit about that as well and how he's kind of overcome that so if you're looking for that kind of book recommend this one and then last but not least if you have any sort of social anxiety this book is made for social anxiety but honestly it really can help you figure out that that inner dialogue and like quiet your mind and overcome yourself if you're having problems with the way that you think about yourself or like your confidence or anything like that this book how to be yourself like I said it's a social anxiety book but you can definitely correlate that to like your inner critic it's one of the most powerful books I've ever read it boosted my confidence so freaking much sometimes I feel like whenever I struggled with confidence issues I would like Google and watch YouTube videos and all this stuff and it would almost kind of like feed into it. It was almost becoming more relevant in my life because I kept watching things about it and like googling things about it. But this book helps you live your life and not feel it's like the first thing that you're always thinking about if that makes any sense at all. You're learning about it but you're implementing things to make it better. It's not becoming your life. You're not being consumed by it even though you're reading a whole book about it. It just really pushes you to boost your confidence level especially social anxiety and she just does a really great job at like explaining you feel less alone too when you read it because she gives a lot of examples ways that other people have overcome them as well as like the science and like why we think the way we think so it's amazing highly recommend this book those are the five self-help books that i feel like would kickstart anyone's year whether you're into confidence and yourself action and doing fitness things and overcoming your past new to self-help books spiritual or you just want something quick and easy to make you feel better about your day every morning like i said they're all linked in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this video happy freaking new year i love you guys so much i'm so excited for new year content i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video bye guys